I need to cut one piece of around 36 inches by 48 inches for the backing of my cabinet. This part I need two pieces of 12 by 48 inches for the sidings. This time I'm cutting the wood 35 inches by 12 inches for the shelvings. Hi guys, good morning. This is Gerald and welcome back to our YouTube channel Adobo Garage. Uh, ang gagawin ko muna ngayon is a small DIY na plywood cabinet o similar to a bookshelf to house our ever-growing number of tools. Yan. Mapansin nyo at the background, uh, nilatag ko na dyan yung mga power tools ko na naipon na rin. Since uh, I've been very busy na nga, hindi ko na masyado nagagamit, I've decided to pull it out from the bodega and uh, make a permanent uh, shelf for the tools. Okay, the problem kasi, every time I have a project is kung kailangan ko ng tool, I need to go to the bodega to pick it up from the box and bring it out and again, put it in the box after the project's done and tago uli sa bodega. So, it's been very inconvenient and very time-consuming. Sayang ang effort. So, I decided to make myself a small box na pwede ko sila ilatag doon and every time I need to use it, kuha lang ako ng kuha. Ang gagawin ko is simple lang naman, simple yung shelf lang. Yan. As you could have seen in my uh, beginning of the video, nag-cut na ako ng mga plywood in my dimensions. Basically, it's around, lapad niya is around 3 feet by depth is around 1 foot and taas is around 4 feet. Mapasin nyo yun sa background ko, ito are some of my tools pa lang. Yan. Yung ibang mga tools ko is, Hindi ko na sa box kasi I plan on making another small small cabinet pa for the smaller hand tools. Yan. So, for this project, ano muna tayo? More on the power tools muna para nakahihulay sila, nakasegregate. So, join me and let's continue doing the cabinet. Okay? This time, I'm cutting the wood 35 inches by 12 inches for the shelves.
Welcome back guys. Okay na tayo sa do it yourself natin na uh, mobile tool cabinet. Ayan, at the back. Ayan. So, basically, some plywood na gamit natin. Saka some scraps ng plywood din. Mga pagamitin ako before. And, uh, wood. Some glue and screw. Saka, nagdagdag lang ako nung, ano, nung caster wheels niya. Uh, basically, siguro, cost ko rito. Yung plywood is around... 500 to 600 pesos and yung one half na marine saka caster wheels around 120 120 to 150 yan, depende sa bibilan mo pero doon siya naglalaro yung presyo niya uh, screw, maraming nung screw dito kasi may stock sa kapako and glue, ayan, from Pioneer yan, sa likod ko yan. yan Pioneer glue, wood glue yan, baka naman <laughs> anyways uh, yan, so I'm really glad what, how my project turned out kahit na mabilisan saka medyo naapura ko kasi that's the problem with me sometimes yata mad ako gumawa minapanuri ko gusto ko rin makita yung finished product niya so there are parts here na lang na pinagdala ko na lang ng pako kasi hindi ko na nag-glue <laughs> so aside from that I think patibay naman so squalado naman siya saka dinagdaga ko na lang ng mga braces dito sa gitna yung apat na braces na yan para iwas uh, iwas laylay nung pinaka shelves niya. Yan. So aside from that, ano pa bang ginawa ko? Uh, hindi ko na pinunturahan kasi ubos oras pa maghihintay pa ako eh. Gusto ko yung matapos yung project eh. para maiayos ko yung mga tools ko. But maybe in the near future, pagka wala akong magawa, nagyan ko lang pintuan. Yan. Para may lang pagkakabalahan. Okay? Uh, aside from that, ang napansin ko lang is it could have been much faster saka much better. Kung Meron tayong miter saw, saka table saw. Saka yung mga uh, sander na malaki, mga belt sander na. Maybe na near future, pagka nakakita ko ng magandang deal kaya na Bosch, Makita, or Inco, or whatever brand it is, uh, baka kumuha tayo. And from that, makapasin nyo, muulan pa rin sa labas. That's one of the reason bakit di pa ako nakapag-fishing-fishing or nakapag-fixay. So, 
Siguro yung mga next project natin, we would focus more muna sa mga wood projects kasi marami kong gustong gawin yung mga wood projects. Although some of the some of it would be would be or are still related sa fishing saka sa air gun, matik sa hunting natin. Uh, but uh, you'll see na lang yan. Please uh, subscribe na lang and click the notification bell para every time na may nalabas akong video, you will be notified. Mm, siguro yun lang muna. And then, till next vlog natin, thank you for watching and uh, ingat pa lagi guys. Thanks!